team member has a unique set of needs, and for this career, communication is the key to success. Today, we're going to talk to someone whose job means being a great leader. Let's meet a human resources manager. Hi, I'm Viviana. I'm Clara. Welcome to the Rick Hansen Foundation. Thank you. Why don't I show you around? Yeah, for sure. I'm Clara. I'm the human resource manager for the Rick Hansen Foundation in Vancouver. An HR manager is a person that looks after the people and the people processes. Every HR generalist would look after recruitment and selection, payroll management, performance management, and teaching leaders to be better leaders. There would be difficult conversations or sensitive situations, and I would recommend solutions or coaching ideas to managers on how to deal with the specific situation. The main difference between an HR manager and an HR specialist is that an HR specialist focuses on a specific HR discipline. An HR manager, for example, is a jack of all trades, and they have a wider range of uh, knowledge on all of the HR disciplines. So this looks like a very spacious, wide open work environment. Yes, we are really proud of our accessible office. We making sure that we have enough space for people to move around with who are in wheelchairs and um, anybody that would um, need additional accommodation, we ensure that we have that space that we can provide that for people who need it. Wonderful. What attracted me to this position was I saw that uh, the Rick Hansen Foundation was looking for a human resource manager. The Rick Hansen Foundation is all about creating awareness with people with disabilities. And with myself being hearing impaired, I was immediately connected to the cause. My working hours is from 8.30 to 4.30. And also, it depends on what industry you're working in. We ensure that we have work-life balance for our employees, and we also have flexible hours, so you would have people who would come in a little bit later and then work a little bit later. And sometimes you will have people who work from home. So thank you, all of you, for coming here today. Um, today, we're going to be covering uh, performance management. You are going to be in contact with people on a daily basis and your verbal communication and presentation skills are really important because you want people to walk away knowing what you talked about when you were training. If you want to become a human resource manager, typically you would need to have a bachelor's degree in human resources. In my case, I have a bachelor's degree in industrial psychology. There are also other designations which you can follow to increase your education. You could um, write the CHRP exam. CHRP stands for a Certified Human Resource Professional. Clara, what are we doing here in the boardroom today? We are going to be conducting a final interview. Typically when we bring a candidate in for a final interview, uh, part of the panel would always be an HR person. So in terms of the interview, we're going to be asking you some questions and then at the end of the interview, you would get an opportunity to ask us questions. Does that sound good? When you provide guidance to an employee on their career, to see that person being promoted is just so rewarding because you've spent time and energy and you've invested in this person and they've taken that and um, they've stepped up in their career. I would advise a young human resource professional to do your research on the different HR disciplines. You will know what resonates with you. Clara, thank you so much. I had a lot of fun with you today and I really feel like I understand what a human resources manager does. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. Anytime. Once again, I'm Viviana for Career Trek, reminding you that this career could be yours. We'll see you next time.